I'm gonna tell you seven YouTube features that are free for you to use. They're actually built into YouTube that can help you get more views. And we're starting right after this quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Video Leap. Video Leap is a free mobile video editor that's super intuitive and easy to learn. With Video Leap, you can do anything from cutting and connecting clips to adding filters and keyframes and even editing in multiple layers, allowing you to do your video editing on the go. You can use Video Leap free, but with a pro subscription, you get access to even more pro functionality and access to extra filters, animations, text effects, and more. Personally, I use Video Leap on the go to quickly put together YouTube and Instagram stories because I love how easy and fun it is to use. You can even make full length YouTube videos with this. To try Video Leap for yourself, click the link below this video. Make sure that you install that app if you do anything with video on your phone, it's amazing. But when it comes to YouTube's features, the very first thing that you want to make sure that you are using is the pinned comments. If you're not familiar with what a pinned comment is, it's basically where you can write out a comment saying anything that you want and you can actually pin it to the very top of your comment section. You can pin your comments with this feature or viewers comments with this feature, but the way to use it to get more views is to actually write out a comment that recommends one of your other videos and you actually include a link in that comment as well. The cool thing about that is as people are scrolling down the page, they see that recommendation pinned at the very top of your comment section and some of the viewers are going to go over and watch that other content that you recommend. If you're currently getting a little bit of views on your videos, you'll see a little bit of a trickle over, but if you're getting a lot of views on your videos, you'll actually see a lot of people head over and check out those other videos as well. Now, if you want to take that up a notch, you use the next feature that I'm going to be talking about, which is playlists in combination with the pinned comments. So when you're recommending what people should watch next, you've actually built a playlist and that playlist has more videos inside of it that they would be likely to watch based on what it is that they're interested in, which is something that you've already proven that they're interested in because they're watching that video on the topic that you're talking about in the first place. But the powerful thing about playlists is that you can mark them as a series playlist, which will help YouTube identify that the content in the playlist is related to each other. And that helps them show that content next to other videos that are in that playlist when people are watching any of the other videos in that playlist. And when you're actually leading people into those playlists through the pinned comments and some of the other features that I'm going to be talking about, the really cool thing about it is the other videos in that playlist are also yours. Now, one other thing with playlists that I want to bring to your attention is I look at a lot of channel pages. When people leave comments on my videos, I'll go and check out the channel pages just so I can know who it is that's watching my stuff. And one of the things that I've noticed is that a lot of people aren't using playlists on their channel page. And because of that, when somebody lands on your channel page looking to see more of your content, they only see like five or six of your videos. And in order to see more, they have to click on the videos tab where you could have just made it easy for them by putting playlists on your channel page in sections, which allows people to see more of your content at a glance. And more importantly, you group content together in your playlists and present it to your viewers in a way that makes the most sense to the people that are coming in. Next is your video descriptions. Now with your video descriptions, you can actually use these in a couple of different ways. The very first being is that you recommend a video above the see more option. Now on a mobile device, people are not gonna see that. They actually have to tap into the description in order to see it. But for all the people that are watching on a desktop, they're going to see that when they're scrolling down the page, they'll see that recommendation and the link in your description above the see more. So what we've done so far is we've taken the video watch page where they just see the one video and maybe YouTube recommending more of your videos in the sidebar. And we've just added the pinned comment. That's one more entry point into more of your content. And we just added the description link above the see more, which is another entry point into more of your content. Now we're going to take this even further and we're going to actually open that video description. And what you want to do when that video description is open is you also want to add links to relevant playlists and links to relevant videos in your description as well. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Nick, nobody even looks in the description, but I can tell you, you are wrong, especially if you tell people that you have stuff in the description. For example, in all of my video descriptions, I have links to videos that will make sense to you. And I also have lists of resources down there that will help you do different stuff on YouTube. So if you're not looking in my descriptions, you're actually missing out. But the idea here is even though the stuff that's actually in the description when it's open, even though the stuff down there doesn't get the visibility that the pinned comment or that the link above the see more gets, it's still another place to where when people are exploring what's going on with your video or your channel that can lead them to watch more of your content. Next is of course your end screens. Now look, if you're on a mobile device, the end screens are gonna be a little bit more difficult to get to. What you can do is you can actually use the Google Chrome browser in desktop mode on your phone. And in most cases that will let you in. But as a disclaimer, that's changing all of the time. So it may or may not let you in based on when it is that you happen to be watching this video. But if you are doing this stuff on a computer, you wanna make sure that you're using your end screens. Now you don't have to use the full 20 seconds, but you do need to have your end screens on your videos because if you can get people to the end of your 
your video, some of those people are going to click through your end screens to watch more of your content. So what you've done in that situation is this. You've taken that video watch page where they're just watching that one video and maybe some stuff over on the side. We've added the description link. We've added the deep description links. We've added the pinned comments and we've added the end screen. So we've just added four more points of contact or four more opportunities that you can have to get viewers to watch more of your content just on that one page. Next up on the list, and I know currently some people have this, some people don't. So if you don't have it yet, then you can skip to the next one. But if you have the community feed, make sure that you're dropping videos in there. Of course, you'll want to ask questions and you'll want to post pictures and things like that. But make sure as part of what you do with your community feed, make sure part of it is dropping videos in there, specifically to playlists that are driving people into more of your content. Because here's the thing, community posts end up on home pages. So because of that, you want to make sure that you're taking advantage of that particular feature and trying to drive people into more of your videos as well as using it as a tool for engagement. Another feature that can also help you get more views is using the watch later option in YouTube stories if you have that. All you have to do for that one is post a story of yourself telling people to go and watch another video or a graphic or whatever it happens to be. Click on the little emoji face looking thing up there at the top and then click on video and then you get to choose your video that you are recommending that they watch later. And you can actually use Video Leap, the app that sponsored this video to put together a really cool story. See what I did there? A link to that's down in the description below. Now, if you want to learn the step-by-step -step process to getting more views on YouTube, make sure you watch this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.